Hi guys! Today I will be showing you my limited watercolor palette I've been using lately and swatching the colors that I have there. First of all, let me present to you my latest DIY palette that I made from an eyeshadow palette. It has 9 wells that are quite long, so you have a lot of surface for your brush to pick the paint from. This is what I actually don't like about half pens, for example. They are so small that sometimes it is quite tricky to get in there with a bigger brush and get the amount of paint you need. So this palette definitely solves that problem. And also, the wells are quite shallow, which means that you don't need to fill them with lots of paint, which makes it a very lightweight option. So all this makes it a perfect travel watercolor palette. I am using the lid as a mixing space. It was initially clear, so I painted it to mix the colors against the white. I love how this palette turned out, and I've already tested it several times in painting outside, and it's been working great for me. I am using full wells for the colors I use the most. And then for the very pigmented colors and colors I don't use that much, I have several paints and one well. So in total my limited palette is now 14 colors. I like to work with a limited set of colors. I think it gives an opportunity to explore the endless possibilities of color mixing without being overwhelmed by a huge variety of paints. When you don't have every possible color in your palette, it really forces you to master the color mixing and to get to know your paints and mixes better and find unique combinations. If you're interested, I can make a video and share some tips on how to pick colors and build your own limited palette. Now let's see what I have here and move to the swatching. Indian Yellow by White Knights. It is based on the pigment PY150, which is called Nicolaiso Yellow in other brands. This pigment is used in Cunacredon Gold, which is one of my favorite colors. I really love this shade of yellow and I use it on its own, but also it gives beautiful golden colors as well as a variety of greens in mixes. Raw Sienna by White Knights. It is a great color for mixing earthy browns and for muting bright colors. It also doesn't go green when mixed with blues, so I like to use it to add warm light when painting skies. Burnt Sienna by Senelia. I usually use White Knights Burnt Sienna, however I do have a tube of Senelia one that I want to use up, so this is why I'm having it in this palette now. This color is a staple, and it is great for mixing a variety of browns and grays. Also, it gives a nice natural green color when mixing with turquoise or emerald green colors. Geranium Red by White Knights. It is a bright orangey-red color. I rarely use it on its own, maybe just for some accents, but mostly I use it for color mixing. It gives nice oranges and reds, complex grays, and I especially love the mix with cobalt turquoise. Carmine by White Knights. Same as geranium red, it is a very intense color that I usually use in mixes. It's a cool red that is great for mixing violets and purples. Venice Purple by White Knights. It's a quite pigmented blood red color that is fantastic for creating deep reds and purples. I often use its mixes in urban sketching for brick buildings. Perlin Violet by White Knights. It's a deep dark violet, one of the colors I use the most for mixing dark violets and purples, and violet grays for shadows. Ultramarine Violet by White Knights. This is quite a pale violet that I don't really use on its own, and that doesn't look like anything special, but it has light granulation and the real magic starts when mixing it with other colors, because this pigment gives really cool effects of color separation when you add enough water. Lavender by Shin Han. It is an opaque watercolor with white pigment in it. I added it to my palette this year to experiment and test it out. It gives pastel colors and mixes, and I usually add it when painting skies or for mixing some of the violet grays. Cobalt Turquoise by White Knights. This is one of my absolute favorite colors, both on its own, but also in mixes. It is a granulating color that results in color separation in mixes that looks amazing in landscapes, and I also use it for shadow mixes for urban sketching. Chromium Oxide by White Knights. Same as Ultramarine Violet, this color is quite pale and doesn't look like something interesting. But again, it is a granulating color that I love for the magic it does in the mixes. I especially love browns with color separation that I can get with this pigment.
Ultramarine Turquoise by Daniel Smith. I use it mostly to be able to create a variety of blue or green shades of turquoise color for painting water, but also for adding accents to my urban sketches. It also gives a nice natural dark green for trees in combination with burnt sienna. Ultramarine by White Knights. Also a staple color that is present in almost all of my limited palettes. Great on its own and for mixing a variety of blues and violets as well as for mixing grays with burnt sienna. Indigo by White Knights. A dark blue that I use to mix my darks. It is not the ideal paint pigment-wise, it has three pigments, but I just love the hue and I like the mixes I get with it. So these are my 14 colors that I currently have in my limited palette. Usually when I have my limited palette set, I would make a color mixing chart like this one. It does take some time, but I think it is a great exercise to explore the potential of your limited palette and help you to find some unexpected color mixes. Let me know if you would like to know more about how I make these color mixing charts. I hope you enjoyed this video, please give it a like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye!